Hi, my name is uh, Lewis Cole. I uh, grew up in a small community just about thir five kilometers north of here called Victoria. Well, when we grew up in Victoria, basically it was the staple foods. 90% of it was what we grew ourselves. The garden was our most important possession that we had. We grew our own vegetables, turnip, carrot, potatoes, beet, lettuce, cabbages, and uh, we made sure that we had enough for the, uh, the whole winter because you just couldn't, couldn't run out to the store and buy it. Growing up back there in the 50s and 60s, everybody had their milk because they had their cows. And again, there was another chore to be done, but yet at the end it paid off because you had your, your milk. Um, and of course you always had your pigs that would be killed about December. I can see my mother now. After was the, the thing was killed and, and, uh, and ready, and it was hung up out in the cold storage, a shed similar to this one. And mother would be there with the uh, hams, she would put a cloth over it, she would mix the smoke and smoke it, and there that would be ready for us whenever when we needed. So we had our milk, we had our uh, eggs, uh, everybody kept their at least a dozen or so hens, and of course we had our uh, pig, and sometimes if we we're really lucky, we had a, a little calf that we could kill, and that added to his diet as well. Everybody in the home had a responsibility. Usually the dad, my dad, usually worked away. So our family was fairly large, and most families back then were fairly large. There were six boys of us and one girl. And uh, when we came from school, everybody knew that there were chores that had to be done. It wasn't, did, mom didn't have to tell us that, uh, Louis, you go and bring the water, you bring the wood or something like that. Everybody knew that there was. Kindling to be made for the stove for tomorrow morning, there was wood that had to be brought in, there was coal that had to be brought in, there was water that had to be brought from the, from the well. So, and there were the animals that had to be taken care of as well. There's one thing that sticks out in my mind about those days was that you were never bored, never bored. I found when I was growing up, there was always time to get together. Whenever there was a harvest in our field, or somebody else's field, it was a time for socialization as well. We got together and helped each other. Nobody had to ask how important wild berries and wild fruit was to our diet, uh, because that was, uh, was very significant. For example, uh, everybody collected blueberries when blueberries came. You sold what you want to sell, but you collected them also for your home, home use. Mother always, and my older sister uh, uh, in particular, always had bottles of blueberry jam made up uh, in, uh, in preparation for, for the winter. When partridge berries came, they were a different thing. You didn't have to uh, prepare those right away. These would be put, we always had a barrel, about 200 pounds barrel and it would be filled with partridge berries and in that barrel mother would make sure that they were all covered with water. They would freeze in the barrel and whenever she needed them she said I can hear her now with a knife cutting out blocks of blueberries or partridge berries out of the, uh, out of the barrel and uh, uh, put, put them on the stove to make the jams or the uh, jellies or whatever she wants to make. There's no reason in the world why young people cannot grow some, not necessarily all, but some of their uh, produce that they need. Um, I don't think there's anything more gratifying than to go up in your garden and pull up uh, half a dozen carrots for, for your dinner or uh, take up a fresh turnip 
or dig out, take out a, a few fresh uh, sugar snap peas, for example. Uh, you, can't, you can't buy them in this store as tasty. And I'm a little sad to see uh, a lot of our younger people are not moving in that direction because I think once they've started it and had a couple years at it, they would learn as they go along. And I think they would find so gratifying that uh, everybody would, would be doing it. And I, I wish to God that uh, uh, they would, uh, it would come to pass that uh, everybody would, would find time to grow just a little. Because I think if you grow a little, you will, you'll, it'll multiply over the years because it's, I don't think there's any other uh, activity that gives you more of a catharsis for the mind and, and the body than, than growing vegetables.